Hello, Whittier Wildcats, particularly third graders. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a toucan. Uh, we are exploring the rainforest, and one of the lessons we actually do in school is learning how to draw a toucan, a beautiful keel build or toco toucan. Um, I've attached some videos for you to watch to learn more about these beautiful creatures, but for now I'm going to just show you step by step how to make one. You really only need a paper and a pencil. I will show you some coloring and outlining options, but uh, you really only need a paper and pencil. I like to have my paper landscape so I have lots of space. You're gonna pick a side for your toucan's head and you wanna pick it to the side because you want lots of room for the big, beautiful um, beak that they have. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a curved line and a curved line about like that. This is, his body shape is almost kinda of like a bowling pin if you've ever been bowling. Then we're gonna curve it. We're gonna go over and then I kind of go straight down because this is where the bill will come out, his beak. And then I kind of connect it like that. Um, I'm wondering if I should do this in Sharpie so that you guys can see it better. So that's what I'm gonna do. So here we have that sort of bowling pin shape and then it's kind of flat right here. And then right here, I give him some fuzzles. And then you're gonna kind of draw this little shape because toucans are mostly black on their bodies, but they have kind of a white spot right here where they have a pretty big eye and then a little bit of wrinkly skin around that eye. And you can color that in with your pencil or your Sharpie, but it's about the size of a nickel, I would say. And then we're gonna go out from the top where the fuzzles are we're gonna go over to the other end of the paper and bend it down. And then the bottom part right here, we're going to connect like this. And then we're gonna use our zigzag line to create the spot where the beak would open, something like that. And there you have your toucan, pretty easy. Now, he wouldn't be a toucan if he wasn't in the rainforest or jungle. So now we're gonna draw some jungle plants all around him. I really like to draw like grasses and things. You can do some overlapping where you have some grass in front of other grasses and leaves and plants. Because the rainforest is very thick and full of plants. Another thing I love to make is the exotic flower, which is kind of like a banana shape with spikes. And then you draw the stem. And if you want to, you can add some leaves. Now, boys and girls, you can pause this video at any time if I'm going too fast and then rewind it if you need to. Another thing I love to make is the um, fern type plants. You do a, like a wobbly line and then you kind of do like some little bubbles on each side. And it kind of looks like a long and winding fern. This. Okay. And I just sort of go around and add plants everywhere. I really like the banana leaf, which is a thin leaf with lots of polka dots on it. You can add some of those all over. You just want to make it feel like your toucan is in the jungle. There we go. All right, I think my drawing is quite beautiful. It's getting a little windy outside. Sorry for that noise. All right, now let's talk about coloring. So this whole part of the toucan is black. So you're gonna color that in nice and black. Now the beak can be two different things. A toco toucan usually has red, orange, and yellow in its beak, or you can do the keel build, which is red, orange, and yellow, plus blue and green. I like to use oil pastels. If we were in the classroom, we would use oil pastels and we would color it and make it look like that. Ta-da! <laughs> um, but really, you don't have to color at all. This is just a drawing lesson or you could use some um, markers. Like I said, oil pastels, colored pencils, anything would work. And you're just kind of trying to use all those jungle colors like greens, yellows, browns, and um, <clears throat> like I said, black for the body. There's a little bit of color around the eye, but mostly this is white. 
And then I just kind of blend the colors together to make this beautiful beak. Now, if we were in the classroom, the last step we would do is paint the background either like a bluish purple for the sky, or we would continue to use jungle colors so it would look like the jungle was blurred behind him. And that is all optional, of course. We're just doing some drawing videos. So, hopefully this worked out for you guys and you had fun. I'm excited to connect with you and I'll have more videos to come.